Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cage Digression Amateur Bantamweight Division, powered by Mid Beast Boxing and MMA. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, six inches tall, and weighed in at 136 pounds. He trains at Vanderlei Jiu-Jitsu and MMA. Joining us from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Moy Medina! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, six inches tall, and weighed in at 134 pounds. He trains at the Peoria Athletic Club and is sponsored by Jan Graf Repairs, Josh Scott Fight Photography, Soldiers with Tats, Kitchen Bugs, and Meltdown Creative Works. Joining us from Bloomington, Illinois, Jeffrey Whiplash Tooley. Hey. And we are ready to roll. They are ready, and they step into the middle of the cage, tap the hands, and here we go. Good leg kick there from Tooley. Another leg kick. Another leg kick. Tried to answer from Medina. Medina firing that jab back. Couple Got front kicks right there. Ooh, left, right from Medina. Clearly gets through. Medina's got very good mechanics on his punches. I was going to say those were quick. Good leg kick from Medina. Seems to be a little bit more comfortable right now. Slightly smaller fighter. Left, right, just misses. He's a step inside the kicks. That's totally coming in. And I'll tell you what, I, I don't hate Jeff's game plan right now. No, you know, he's, he's, he's staying on his toes, he's circling the cage, he's landing those leg kicks, he's keeping the distance. And if he can continue to do that, it's going to be more difficult for Medina to sneak those one twos in. He's doing a good job with the safety zone. He knows how long his limbs are. And he knows how long Medina's limbs are. And we just said it, Pat. You know, he's just slightly bigger than Medina. Slightly taller, slightly longer. Yeah. And he's using that. Hey! He's got to be careful. He's closing that distance. Another good leg kick. Every time Tule is circling to the left. To his right, I should say. Another good leg uh, kick. Medina's left. Medina needs to be throwing the right hand and then following with the left hook. Right. Ooh, sets up a head kick. Oh, Ooh, right hand gets through for Tule. Big shot. Medina goes to the takedown, changes levels. Good job closing the distance and trying to recover. That one put him down, Pat. Straight down to the knee. Medina's corner talking for the takedown. Uh oh, miss that. Get yourself in trouble doing that. About a minute left in this round. Let's see if Medina's recovered here. You know, a little apprehensive now after feeling that power. Absolutely. But Jeff playing it smart right now, you know, going back to the leg kicks, just missed there. Not rushing it, trying to set up that head kick. Ooh. See, he's got to be careful about getting put up against the cage. That's where he's closing the distance. Big right. Takedown. He hit a knee tap with the overhand right. Yes, he did. Going for hammer fist, trying to make a case for this round. In my opinion, he's got to land. He's going to get up kicked if he's not careful. Definitely has to be careful. Into his guard. 24 seconds left. Dina on top. Trying to grind down. Corner man being smart, speaking Spanish. I like that. Julie doesn't understand Spanish, probably. Five seconds left. Close round, tough round to call. Did he do enough to take that away with the knockdown? I don't think so, don't think so either. No. You know, it's funny in Japan when we fight over there, they would speak English to their fighters when they would, they'd say, kick, kick, punch, punch. And they'd listen to them. And I'm like, why wouldn't you guys speak Japanese? Like, Atsuki Zuki, upside down punch, right? Like, we, like, Zuki is punch, right? Okay. Stuff like that. Uh, Gary, you know, all these different words. I'm like, why don't you? And I, I, back then, actually, spoke a little bit of Japanese for doing so much karate, yeah. teaching in Japanese. But, but they, they tell you what they're going to do. I mean, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why you would do that. 
you know, it's, I'll say this. As much as I love uh, Japanese and Asian MMA, it's been a while since we've had a dominant champion in one of the larger organizations. Really, hasn't been a Sakuraba for a long time. And even Machida was Brazilian, right? right, right. Like, yeah. you know? Right. Here we go. Getting ready for round two. Very active round one. Fans think Medina might take it. 60 plus percent, but again, I think that first round is Tully. Leg kick exchanged for a, ooh, that hand, that right hand of Medina getting through. Gotta watch it. Medina gotta move his head a little bit more too. Coming in with the uppercut, instead he gets clipped on the exchange. Paid for that on the way in, huh? Yes, he did. That's the counter when you bring that hand down. Medina pressing the ax and takes a jab. Medina needs to move his head off center when he's jabbing his way in. Gotta move the head. Again, Jeff doing a good job of circle, but he's getting closer and closer to that cage, which is what Medina wants. Lock the hands. See if he gets a lift. He's looking for it. Medina good, good job of uh, bracing himself. Medina's got some time. big legs and strong hips. He really does. Good inside knee. I like that. Really good inside knee, but Medina turning it around. Armin Guillotine. Armin Guillotine trying to snap him down. Got out. About halfway through round two. Oh, one of the spinning technique there. Good leg kick. Good inside leg kick, left, right from Medina. Neither of those that landed clean, but they did land. When he knocks Tully back, he needs to step in where Tully's body used to be and close, close the distance again. Exchange of leg kicks again. Medina really just walking through those leg kicks, which is surprising to me. Continuing to come forward. I mean, I can see the bruising around the knee yeah. and the back of the leg. Medina still pressing the action. Oh, Ooh, looks for the spinning action. Did not hit solid. Truly getting creative now. Big winging punch from Medina. That might have been his most desperate attack yet. I haven't seen, I really haven't seen him get that out of control yet. Just got to cut Thule off more. He's following him around the cage. Bring him back in with hard left hooks. I mean, I'd almost want him to change levels and look for a quick takedown. Let's we'll see what he can do. There's the, the hook. The He's circling in. Finish with the hook. He's always circling that way. Let him walk into the power. Medina giving up his own leg kick right there. There's Jeff going to that same leg. Looking at that high kick again. 10 seconds, close round. That one's a tough one to score. Medina coming forward the whole time. Oh, and that right left pretty much solidifies it that gets through. Very good, very well good. One round apiece. One round apiece, Pat. If I had to bet my biscuits and gravy, I'd say that's what it is. Yabba Dabba Doobie. We love Yabba Dabba's House of Glass here, always sponsoring the caged aggression events, finding a special and innovative way to sponsor this time around. Billboards. Billboards everywhere, Pat. <laughs> the kind of billboards that grab attention. Looking at both fighters in the corner, look like they're ready to go. Here we see that attempt to take down, and Medina doing a good job of stopping it. Getting those legs apart. Absolutely. There's that spinning attack, but as you can see, really nothing there. His forearm grazes the head, not a lot of contact. Really competitive fight right now. Loves to start it off. Medina not, not moving forward as much right now. Gotta bring his feet with him. Shorter arms, he's gotta step in. 
Ooh, big body kick followed by a big right hand. Yikes. Another body kick. Right hand gets through for Jeff Tully. Oh, the eye, yeah, right? yeah, a little bit, but again, that might have been a knuckle. So you get on him right then. It was tough to see whether or not, you know, his hands were, uh, or fingers were extended. I mean, his fundamentals have been pretty good. Both guys. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying he hasn't been sticking out and pawing too right, much, right. you know. His one-twos have been pretty clean. Big head kick. Both guys well-trained. Absolutely. I mean, this is high-level amateur. And this is the way you're supposed to look with just a couple fights. You should have trained long enough to be this technically sound. I mean, these guys are technically sound. And we got a hell of a kick uh, kickboxing match going on. And right it now. says a lot about their coaching. I, I agree. Ooh, right hand gets through for Jeff Tooley. Another good leg kick. 90 seconds away from the decision on who it is. And really, whoever takes this round is probably taking this fight. Ooh, another spinning attack. If doing spinning techniques going towards someone gives it away, I don't, I'm surprised. I've not seen anyone hit spin techniques moving away and luring people in. That's the way it used to be done, so. I don't know. Maybe well, I'll, I'll give a seminar on how to actually do it. I'll say this. Because that's, that's when you level people. It's got a little bit of bad press since Valentina Shevchenko got a sloppy, which is, you know, not her M.O. You got with that spinning attack, in. and all of a sudden, that, uh, Grasso came and took that belt. Right. Medina pressing the action with less than a minute to go. Left hand gets through for Medina. Left, right, right there. He wants it the worst. The most. Got to pull the trigger. Stepping in. Another left, right. Looking for the head kick. Not quite there. Gonna set that up. And both guys tried that head kick throughout. He was either dodged or blocked just about every single time. Nothing really snuck through. Good defensive skills for amateurs. Right? He sneaks one through. I totally agree. Trying to solidify that takedown for it. Doesn't get it. Knee from Medina. Anybody's fight. Has not been able to. He didn't take Medina down one time in that fight. Three attempts, I believe. But good fight between both of them. Absolutely. I would, I would not be surprised if we saw a split decision here. That's absolutely a possibility. Let's look, take a look at some of the action. Round three. Body kick into a right hand miss. Both yeah. Guys kicking at the same time there. There's the spin technique. And again, completely blocked by the glove. Yeah, Medina, great defense. Medina moved forward quite a bit in every round. Very true. They chopped that up to ring generalship. He attempted takedowns. Medina. Got to get some credit for stuffing all the takedowns as well. I don't know who won. It was very close. I'm not going to tell you who I think won. It was that close. I think it could very well be a split decision. Uh, if you put a gun to my head, I'd probably say Medina took that third round. Um, and he took that fight. You know, had, had uh, Jeff Tilly gotten that takedown, maybe a different story, but he certainly didn't. So now we're just waiting on Jason Vargas to make it official and let us know which scraptacular took home this fight. I could call fights like that all night. That's right. Oh, we've, we've been spoiled so far. They've all been pretty exciting. It's like Jack Nicholson and Gold Rush. Remember they were going to hang him and the widow saved him? Pat. He had to dig gold out of the ground. For Pat, him. I never saw Gold Rush because I wasn't born in 1914. <laughs> 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 and now to Jason Vargas to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to our judges' scorecard for our decision. Our judges scored this contest 29-28, Tuli. 29-28, Medina. And 29-28, declaring your winner by split decision, Jeffrey Whiplash Tuli.
Jeff, we're here with your victor after a very tough, very close fought decision victory. Jeffrey Tooley. Jeffrey, man, looked like you had him wobbled there in the first round. Tell us how that was and how frustrating it was not being able to put him away there. Oh, yeah, I cracked him. But dude's tough, nothing but respect to boy. He's a killer. But, uh, yeah, he's a killer. Hey, there's, there's been a little rumor about those PMT kicks, too. Those were on display tonight. Uh, let us know if there's anything you want to add to this or anyone you want to thank before I let you get to a much-deserved celebration. Hey, first of all, I'm 3-1 and one in the past five months, and I think the Bantamweight division deserves a new king. So, Daddy's here. Shots fired, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it one more time for your winner tonight. Go ahead. Shout out to PYA Athletic Club. We're the best in the business. Let's go, baby. Your winner one more time, ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey Whiplash Tooley.